Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Eastern Red Cedar. Eastern Red Cedar's common name is misleading because it's not a true cedar tree. It is really a juniper, hence its scientific name, Juniperus virginiana. It's a long-lived evergreen conifer that may reach more than 450 years of age. It's a common conifer that grows on a variety of sites, but is most common on poor dry soils derived from limestone substrate. Eastern red cedar seedlings are shade intolerant and considered a pioneer or an invader species of old field and open forest sites. It's relatively slow growing and typically reaches 40 to 70 feet tall and 12 to 30 inches in diameter. It has two distinct growth forms. The most familiar form is narrowly conical, forming a compact tree, and the second form is broadly conical with branches that spread widely. Both forms can be found throughout eastern red cedar's range. It is found growing in the eastern and central United States and into Canada. This tree's dense foliage is valuable for birds as roosting cover in the winter, and it provides protective shelter for a variety of wildlife. The tree is also useful as a wind break and as a soil stabilizer. The leaves are evergreen and occur in two forms. On seedlings and new twigs, the leaves are pointed and needle-like and often light green, as you can see what we have circled here. On the mature branches, they are overlapping scale-like leaves that are tight against the twig, as you can see we have circled here. Eastern red cedar flowers appear from early to late spring. This tree is dioecious, meaning two houses, that there are male and female trees, but occasionally you will find a monoecious tree, meaning it will have both male and female flowers on the same tree. The male flowers are small, yellow-brown, look like kind of like little cones, and they occur in large groups. And the female flowers are a light blue-green. Male trees tend to be taller and have greater diameter growth than female trees, which may contribute to their success as pollen donors. The flowers are wind pollinated, with pollination occurring from February to May, depending on location. The fruit is a small berry-like cone that contains one to four seeds. The cones or berries are light green in spring and ripen to dark blue in fall. They mature from late July to mid-November. These berry light -like cones remain on the tree until the following spring. Eastern red cedar produces most seed between the ages of 25 and 75 years, though seed production can occur in trees as young as 10 years and as old as 100 plus years. The seeds are disseminated by birds and small mammals. Mature eastern red cedar trees produce some seeds nearly every year, but good seed crops only occur every two to three years. Eastern red cedar fruit is eaten by a variety of birds and small mammals, such as cedar waxwings, as you can see in this photo, bobwhite quail, rabbit, fox, and raccoon. Seeds tend to germinate more quickly if they pass through an animal's digestive tract. These berry-like cones and seeds are an important food for wildlife, particularly for birds, since they are available in late winter and early spring when food is scarce. The bark is reddish brown in color. It's thin and fibrous and it tends to exfoliate in long strips or separates into long fringed scales. Eastern red cedar is relatively free of serious insect and disease problems. However, it is an alternate host for the cedar apple rust disease. The disease forms galls and orange jelly-like horns in the spring, especially after warm rainy weather. And you can see that in the bottom photo and it's on the eastern red cedar. The spores in the horns will infect the other host, which is typically an apple or some other type of palm-bearing tree, such as a hawthorn or a crab apple, and it causes serious damages, damage on those trees. If you're planting either a cedar or an apple tree, apple type tree, do not plant them near each other. They should be at least several hundred yards apart. If you do find these spore horn galls in your cedar, you need to prune them out in the spring and dispose of them. The wood of eastern red cedar is very aromatic. It's got a really wonderful smell. In fact, the wood itself is sometimes referred to as aromatic red cedar. The color of the sapwood is kind of a pale yellowish, and the heartwood is typically a lovely reddish to violet brown. 
It is regarded as excellent in resistance to both decay and insect attacks. It's lightweight and soft and easy to work. The wood is commonly used for fence posts due to its rot resistance. It's also used for, to line closets and chests to repel moths and other insects due to that volatile cedar oil in the wood. It's also used for paneling, outdoor furniture, birdhouses, and small specialty items that are easily carved. The National Champion Eastern Red Cedar is in Coffee, Georgia, in the Lone Hill Cemetery. It's 257 inches in circumference, 56 feet tall, and has an 88-foot crown spread. Kentucky's Champion Eastern Red Cedar is in Hickman County at the Spring Hill Baptist Church. It's 151 inches in circumference, 88 feet tall, with a 36-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest um, National Champion Tree Register or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees to learn about Kentucky's champion trees. Now for a few fun facts about eastern red cedar. The berries of the juniper trees are used to provide gin with its characteristic flavor. Eastern red cedar has had many historical uses. For numerous Native American tribes, the red cedar tree symbolized the tree of life and it was burned in sweat lodges and in purification rites. For many tribes, the leaves were steeped to make a tea to cure a persistent cough, to work as a sedative, and to speed delivery during childbirth. Other tribes also made a tea from the fruit to cure asthma. The scientific name Juniperus comes from the Latin unio and peri, which mean young and produce, hence youth producing or evergreen. I hope you've enjoyed learning about our eastern red cedar and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or cemetery, or your neighborhood and enjoy the eastern red cedar.